Welcome to this video from Advent Computing explaining how to watch and record TV on any PC running Windows 7. All you need to supply is your own TV tuner stick or card and Windows will provide the rest in the form of Windows Media Center which lets you watch, record and pause live TV plus schedule recordings of future programs automatically turning your PC into a personal video recorder. To begin you'll need to supply and install your own TV tuner stick or card. You'll find a selection in your local Curry's or PC World Superstore. Installing the stick is simple. Check the manufacturer's instructions for details, but in most cases simply plug in the stick and wait while Windows automatically locates and installs drivers for the TV tuner. Once complete, make sure your TV tuner is connected to your home aerial. Although many TV tuners ship with portable aerials, these are rarely powerful enough to pick up a signal. The next step involves setting up your TV tuner using Windows Media Center which comes preloaded on all versions of Windows except Windows 7 Starter Edition. One way to launch it is by clicking the Start button then clicking on All Programs followed by Windows Media Center. Alternatively you can simply press the Alt, Windows and Enter keys together. Either way Windows Media Center will then launch. When the main Windows Media Center interface appears you can navigate it using a combination of your mouse and keyboard. Use the arrow keys to move between options, then either press enter or click with the mouse to select an option. Press the escape key to move back to the previous menu or screen. Start by navigating to the task section by pressing the down arrow key, and then click settings to continue. Select TV from the settings menu, then choose set up TV signal from the next menu clicking yes if any warning boxes appear. The setup wizard makes things easy. Start by verifying that United Kingdom is selected, then click next. Enter your postcode in the boxes as shown and click next again. Two service agreements will appear. Select agree for each before clicking next. The next few steps involve your first bout of waiting. First, Play Ready components are downloaded and installed, then TV setup data is also downloaded. Once complete, Windows Media Center will examine your TV signals. It's basically looking to see what TV cards or tuners you have installed. The whole waiting process at this point should take no more than a few minutes. Next, Windows will tell you what it's found. Verify your TV card has been correctly identified. In most cases, this will be Digital Antennae DVB-T, which basically means Freeview. If this is the case, leave Yes selected and click Next. The next step involves yet more waiting. First, Windows Media Center will download the latest information from the 14-day program guide, which allows you to see what's being broadcast and lets you set up scheduled recordings. Second, Windows will scan for TV channels using your TV card. You'll see channels added in batches as the search progresses. Depending on the strength of your TV signal, you may not get all available channels, in which case you may wish to invest in a TV signal booster to see if that can help improve the reception. The channel search can take 10 minutes to complete, so it's time to treat yourself to a cup of tea. When it's complete, click Next followed by Finish, and your TV card is both set up and ready to go. You are now ready to watch live TV on your PC. First, return to the main menu, either by moving your mouse and clicking the Windows Media Center logo that appears in the top left-hand corner, or by pressing the Alt, Win and Enter keys together. From the main menu, select TV and you'll notice a new set of options are available. Start by selecting Live TV. After a short pause, you should see BBC One appear on your screen. Again, move your mouse slightly and you'll see a series of controls appear at the bottom of the screen. Start by looking at the pause button. Clicking this when you receive a phone call or knock on the door will suspend the broadcast. Once you've dealt with the unwanted distraction, click the play button to resume watching from the point you paused. Cold callers will never ruin your enjoyment of Corrie again. You'll also notice a timeline slider appear above the playback controls. As you watch a program live, it's automatically recorded into a special part of your hard drive called a buffer, allowing you to move backwards and forwards through the recording 
by clicking and dragging the program marker with your mouse. Note, you can't rewind the recording before the point at which you started watching the program, but you can skip back to a point you were previously watching in case you missed something. Finally, you'll also notice the plus and minus buttons to the left of the stop button. These allow you to manually move between channels one at a time direct from the live TV screen. This is fine if you're browsing channels looking for something to grab your attention, but a better and quicker way to see what's currently showing is to use the 14-day TV guide. You'll find the guide button immediately to the left of the channel up and down buttons. Click it once to access a condensed version of the TV guide, which allows you to browse what's on now and in the future using the arrow keys to move between channels. When you find a program you want, click it with the mouse. You can also use Windows Media Center to record TV on your computer's hard drive, allowing you to keep favorite episodes and schedule program recordings for when you're not watching television. The simplest way to record a program or set up a scheduled recording is through the TV guide itself. Navigate through the guide until you find the program you want to record. Click it to bring up the synopsis screen. From here, you can click Record to record that episode only, or select Record Series to record all showings of the program, ensuring you never miss another episode. If you choose Record Series, Windows Media Center will by default record all episodes shown, including repeats. If you only want to record the latest series of a show, then press the right arrow key to bring up the Actions window. Click Record Settings, then choose Settings for the entire series. Click the minus button next to show type to change it to new, which will prevent any episodes marked as a repeat from being recorded. Finally, click save to apply your changes. Your PC must be switched on and connected to the TV aerial in order for recordings to be made. They'll record in the background so you can use the PC for other tasks. Look out for the red record button in the taskbar's notification area at the bottom right of the screen. Place the mouse over the button to see what's currently recording or right click the button to either open Windows Media Center or stop the current recording. Once the recording has been made, you'll be able to watch it via the recorded TV section of the TV menu. Use the cursor keys to move between recordings, then right click a recording to either play or delete it. To see what future recordings have been lined up, click View Scheduled for a complete list. Look out for a yellow exclamation mark that indicates an issue with a scheduled recording. Select this program to find out more about the problem and how to resolve it. Windows Media Center makes it quick, easy and simple to turn your PC into a fully functional personal video recorder. You'll never have to miss another episode of your favourite show again.